excuse us for this brief interruption. We welcome you to enjoy watching all our 500 songs posted below, but you probably won't learn how to play them here or any of the song tutorials on YouTube, at least not that easily. Why? Because when you are watching the video, the eye can only look at one part of the screen at a time, and following both hands on anything but the most simple song is difficult. To make the songs easier to learn, they will need to be broken down into parts and watched in slow motion. You will also need something written down to take to the piano, either sheet music, which we have, or you can use our replacement to sheet music we developed called word notation. This word notation is the notes written out in letter form, copied onto a Microsoft Word graph, which is 100 times easier to learn and read. If you know the alphabet from A to G, you're halfway there to knowing how to use it. Follow the chapter markers at the end of this video to see the song played in slow motion and to see an example of the word notation. If you're new to the piano or tried learning but are frustrated with the slow progress or difficulty, watch the video below or click the link to our website and find out more about the secret reasons some players learn to play piano without the struggle. Enjoy the song. So the, in, in, in Barrel House, the, the tunes that I really like are the ones that, that originated early on that seem to have a shared development by a group of piano players. And I like to imagine 16-year-old, um, 17-year-olds, a group of you know African-American kids who were, were discovering were, were, blues was their youth music and they were finding ways to make it their own. And also in making it their own, they were, they were forming, you know, clicks and they had, you know, ways to be insiders. And it's like, well, if you don't know this tune, really, you shouldn't get a gig. And uh, in Texas, if you couldn't play the cows, you couldn't get a gig. In, in the deep south, in the Vicksburg, Louisiana area, you had to play the 44 blues and this tune, goes back to the early 20s you know some of the earliest barrel houses is this tune and which was later recorded by roosevelt sykes the 44 blues he made he really popularized in, in the late 20s and then howlin wolf recorded it eric clapton this tune has a long life but it started off as a piano instrumental so i'm going to play uh my version which is a mashup of different guys like little brother montgomery and lee green and uh and, and show you the 44s with great sort of rolling left hand you know, blues, especially this boogie woogie and barrel house blues, uh, what what makes these pieces different from each other is oftentimes the left hand and the rhythms you get out of left hands, and they would often change throughout the whole piece, and that's really where you get all of this intense rhythmic drive and variations. Uh, it's all in that left hand, so so you can see this cool rolls, a different different way of playing your left hand.
word graph is made up of four rows and 20 columns and follows the section of songs as played in the parts. The right hand is on the second row in black type and the left hand on the third row in blue type. What octave the note is played is written on the top row for the right hand and bottom row for the left, both in green type. At the top of the page are the symbols for the rhythm, where an underlined letter means the note is held longer and when shown in red indicates the note is played faster. You can learn more about this notation by going up to the main menu and selecting training videos and watching the how to use the word notation video.